Who's that handsome devil? That's right, it's me! You guys keep finding old photos of me online as a way to expose me. But joke's on you! I'm going to expose myself. I was back in Sweden for Christmas and I collected all of the evidence of my youthful existence. Yes, I was balding. <laughs> I, uh, I like to spin my hair like that, so I was balding at the age of four. It's pretty cool, right? This guy knows what's business. Alright, let's be real here. I also have a bunch of- <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Stop. I also have some old stories that I found my old diary from 95 So I was six and I think that's a ninja turtle. Raphael was my favorite. No, Michelangelo was my favorite It looks like I drew a bunch of that's a pretty good self-portrait. I would say Hobbit the ocean perfectly spelled <laughs> In the end we got a tiny dolphin. That's right. I caught a dolphin guys <laughs> What? What a beautiful dolphin that is. Look at that. Wow. Wow. And it was good. It was good. It was good, guys. You don't understand. Uh, I lost my mic stand, by the way. I know that's why I'm holding it. Someone stole it. How do you lose a mic stand, Felix? I don't know. Same with you catch a dolphin. This one, you can actually tell what it is. <laughs> this Toy Story premiere. On the weekend, I saw Toy Story with my friend. It was very funny. And Sven. Sven? And Sven. Oh, Sven on that. That is the worst spelling I have ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ. Someone else must have written this because I there's no way I was that stupid. Sven on that? That's like writing exciting with with just an X <laughs> and a T and a C. Ex I like this one because it looks like we're all in body bags. <laughs> okay, so we, we had a tent and I was... I had diarrhea. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Felix. Now I know. I remember that. Of course. Oh, God. Why did I draw this? Today, I played tennis. It was very fun. We had one hint of balls each. I think is what I was trying to say. And then mom said we had to set the table. Typical mom saying you have to set the table. Who am I drawing here? I think this is me. And I think this is my dad. And I think that's my sister. <laughs> Where's my baby? Why did you not draw it, Felix? Just so it's not just my diary, let's find some old photos. Apparently I liked whatever that squid- God, I look like a sociopath, look at that. Why am I squeezing that so hard? That poor hedgehog! Here's me and my sister. <laughs> I think this is third grade. That haircut was so popular. It was called like a pot haircut, because it looks like they put a pot on your head and cut around. But it was epic. I mean, here's a self-portrait that I did. I'd say it's pretty indistinguishable. Here's me in first grade. You can barely tell them apart, honestly. Nice shade of um, skin color. I remember that was such a hard thing when you were a kid. You're like, wait, what color is skin color? Who knows? No one knows. I want to share with you guys something very special, which is the very first comic book I ever made. I did the text and I did the illustration. It's called The Worm. I think it was based on The Worms, the game, which was popular at that time. And I'll try and translate the best I can for you guys. It was once a mask who lived under a yard or a barn. One day he saw the refrigerator was empty. So he decided to himself to go out and hunt. He went to the hen house and took an egg. It doesn't look like he took an egg. It looks like he freaking shot an egg. But a bazooka... Just like worms. He boiled the egg. Okay, all right. <laughs> what the breakfast, he said. Then during dinner, he was hungry. So he went to the forest and haunted. Then he saw a fox and then he e ate fox for dinner. He ate the fox. Here's him shooting the fox. I remember thinking it was so funny to make the eyes pop out like I did here in this picture. Comical genius. I was onto something. I knew it. I'm, I'm into this story. It's really good. Later, after dinner, he was hungry again. So he ate a moose and he was so full that he exploded! Then the chicken jumped out of belly from the worm. Bing, bang, bong. Bing, bang, bang, bong. My god, where is this going? And then the chicken ate the worm. <gasps> and then fox came out of nowhere. <laughs> then the fox came and ate the chicken. And the moose ate the fox. And all that was left was a full moose. The end. What a story. Wow. Incredible. 
What a Swedish story. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I came up with. Very nice. Good job, Felix. You did it. You really <laughs> you hit the nail on. Oh, stop. Damn, my eyes are so blue, dude. I've just been slowly dying. This must have been when I hit puberty at the age of 30, 29. This is my Power Ranger toy. I thought that was the coolest thing in the whole world. Very proud of that. Oh, see what I said about drawing cars? That's how you draw a car when you're a kid. Not some cyber truck, sh all right? That's a car. That's gonna be the next cyber truck. Mark my word. Another self portrait, very nice. What in God's earth have I drawn here? That is horrible. That is just horrible. Oh God, it's, oh God, kill it, please stop. I can't look at this. Never be creative. I don't know why kid parents let kids be creative. It's not good for anyone. Here's a description of me. Uh, I'm blonde. I like tennis. I'm happy. I I'm good at video games. Still relevant. And I'm eight years old. And I like school food. Who likes school food? No one likes school food. You dummy smuck. Oh, God! <laughs> well, I got the nose right. I like how I decided to color my skin with a background. I had to sing for some performance here. And I drew it and wrote it. Here's another self-portrait. Practically indistinguishable. Very nice. Here's me drawing. This one isn't bad, actually. It's a fluke sun. These were everywhere in the forest of Sweden, I remember. And teachers always said, don't eat them. But what we found out later was that the Vikings ate them to l get amped up and shit. And I, I don't, I'm not into drugs and stuff, but I kind of want to go back and eat them just to defy my, my teacher. And be like, you can't stop me from eating fluke sun. Oh, here's uh, before media hated me. <laughs> Parkdale was the region I uh, I lived with uh, with Marzan, and they put me on the front cover. Wow, Felix makes success on YouTube. Look at him, there he is. So wow, it's funny how you say this stuff. All right, what else? There's the picture of me and my. Uh... Oh, Felix is celebrity on YouTube. This is in 2012, dude. This felt so huge to be recognized for what you were doing. That's crazy. He's spoken about it for his immersive humor and not the least uh, easily scared, scaredly, scaredly in this. I don't know how to translate. Felix Schellberg's nickname PewDiePie has, on a short time, become a celebrity through his YouTube channel. Very interesting. Here's a quote from me saying, It has really changed my <laughs> point of view in life. I was absolutely not the guy who take a bunch of chances before. I don't know. That doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> I think a lot of media in the beginning try to make me seem like I was a total loser and down on my luck because that sounds like a good success story. So a lot of the early stuff is like, yeah, you were pretty much like a loser. Listen, was this kid a loser? I don't think so. I had freaking spikes, okay? This guy slays. This guy does not have spikes. This guy has spikes, all right? I'm not a loser. That's right. Are we clear on that? I think I should get the spikes back. I'm thinking about that. Look at that. Look at that fucking plain boy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh god, don't look at that. Don't look at that. We don't talk about that. Move. Pop color though. Yeah. Wow, you did it, Felix. You finally hit puberty. Congratulations. Wow. Hey, look, I got to stand up. That's awesome. I got to stand. <laughs> this is third grade. I don't know what to say. Sick pothead. They really squeeze you in, don't they? Uh, this was... I don't know what grade. Like, uh, high school, I think. Does that make sense? Damn, I look good, man. I'd f*** myself. Just want to be clear that I was not cool. But <clears throat> the school photo was also the chance you could get to pretend that you are cool by making some sort of weird pose. That was your moment to change everything. You want to get a haircut, Felix? How about that? You want to try and get a haircut done? <laughs> I really like this one a lot because I let my belt hang between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show that pee pee. <laughs> Why did I didn't know what to do? I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just let it go. Like it'd be weird to put it aside, wouldn't it? I remember thinking about it. That's how dumb I am. I'm like, well, it's a belt. What am I supposed to do? Put it aside? I can't do that. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I found these old posters that I used to. I used to sell these posters. They were really nice. cool. And I used to handwrite all of the messages. Here's the only prize I ever won. It was uh, for sailing, I think. First prize. Oh yeah. That was so good. Oh yeah, and I won in tennis too. Gothenburg 12, first prize, division three. Amazing.
Ah! <laughs> Not a good photo. Oh god, we got more. It never ends, does it? I'm doing this to expose myself, okay? Uh, yeah, I played Peter Pan, and I remember this because I borrowed it. The I borrowed the outfit from a girl, and I for some reason thought that I should be naked underneath the costume, like completely naked, no underwear. I wore no underwear that co under that costume because for like, I'm completely naked. <laughs> And I remember having that dilemma of like, wait, do I wear my underwear underneath this or not? I don't, like, that would make no sense because it, it, there's no, uh, there's no underwear in this outfit. And I actually remember it, it was the first time I was on stage. And I remember just kept looking out on the audience. I'm, I know I'm supposed to interact with the person. It's weird how I remember this so well. And I remember looking at the audience and I, I just didn't understand why they were laughing at me. <laughs> I just didn't understand what was funny. I'm sure I did something cute or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I have a very distinct memory of that. And I, I think I was only four years old or something. Ah! That's better. 1997, I ran something. I ran it. Good job, Felix. There's me in Florida on a jet ski. That's cool, right? I remember they said there were sharks out there, so you have to be careful. This guy did not give a fuck about that. <laughs> I thought this was funny because I clearly stole this from the library of Gothenburg. And I think this was before I, I had went over to Mars. Yeah, I took this. I'm sorry, Gothenburg Library. I'll return it one day. A uh, course in Italian. 68 million have seen Felix play on YouTube. The young phenomenon on YouTube. See, it wasn't always bad, gamers. It wasn't always bad. Well, I hope this was entertaining for you, as it was painful for me. <laughs> had a really good upbringing I'm very privileged and happy I had it and um, you know if I had to go back maybe I would change a couple of haircuts you know maybe a couple things would be different but overall I'm pleased with the re end result so it's okay smash like subscribe for more epic videos and I see you guys next time hey do hey hey behold for too long you have been farting in the darkness now you are entering a new era where you shall craft thy own poop. The hour of fart spells and poop grades is coming. Marzia, Edgar, and Butt Elves need your help. The time where you will face butt crawlers is almost at hand. When you are seated on the porcelain throne, Pooty is the game to play. I'm not supposed to have my opinion about that, but the prize is...